why I asked you, like, how was it meeting Zay Tobin when you went over there? He had to be a laid back dude at that time. Super Hell, he cool. was playing in the church then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, even when times got super uh, tense, you know, while we were working on Chicken Talk, there were some times that got tense with other people, not with him. And he was just like very cool and diffused it, you know, like that's very, what very God, chill. That's you know? what God will do, see? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he wasn't getting all up in the rah rah. He's like, all right, y'all can go. Yeah, that's everybody, right. y'all can all go, you know? He loved the music. Yeah, right. That's all he's there for. Had to be the man back when I start trapping. I never gave a fuck what they see. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You had met, what's the name during that time when he did the So Icy, uh, Zay Tobin? Yeah, yeah, I met him the same time. And really how I met Gucci was so random because on the radio, you know, you gotta think, back then there wasn't all these type of social mm -hmm. medias. Now you could just reach out to somebody. Back then, everybody was so scattered around. Scattered and you had to know somebody to know somebody that knows somebody. somebody. Right, and then you just listen to the radio. That's right. Right, that was like Correct. your main source. And so you listen to the radio, and I heard, the, uh, it was a remix called Black Tea. It was yeah. like the response yeah, yeah, to yeah, White Tea. That. Come on, yeah. man. And it was Gucci and like 17 other people yeah, on that yeah. song. Yeah. Oh, you know, it was too. a whole never again records. And so <laughs> I looked up in the phone book, Back, you used to get a phone book. People don't even know now. You get a I phone remember book. phone books. Open up the phone book, never again records. Called it. Gucci answers the phone. No. Out of all the 17 people, him being the hustler, he answered the phone. He's like, yeah, come up here. I came up there. He immediately took me from that studio to Zaytoven's house, wow. to his basement. To his basement. He didn't mess with me never again for two more seconds, you know? He's like, we're going over to Zay, my producer's house. And so I go over there. I never heard of Zay. And he plays me so icy. Gucci man. And I was like, wow. And kind of like you're saying, just a natural reaction. I was like, what? You know, because Lil Will is my favorite singer, like from the Dungeon Family, looking for yeah, Nicki yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And he wow. auto-tuned him. I was like, you auto-tuned Lil Will? Mm -hmm. And this is before auto-tune was even like a trend. Right. This was like maybe right around T-Pain started mm -hmm. doing it. Insane. And so to hear oh. Lil Will auto-tuned on that, I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> that was just my thought, you know? But I was like, I liked him and I thought he was funny again, just like Dro. And so I was like, let's do a tape. And so, so he wasn't interested and he didn't hit me up till like a year later till mm -hmm. after Icy blow up and then it uh kind of like ran its course and he was kind of in the in the kind of like in the public light in Atlanta kind of looking at like uh, people were looking at him like a one hit wonder almost like you came you had a hit but we don't really know what else you got he put out a couple other songs that didn't do good how was they told him though like when you went to the always house cool always cool Lay back and he was he developing his the sound same too as he is today. same guy he's never changed and he's always just kind of like been evolving that sound that he's been working on. Cause like even the beats from that first year, a lot of stuff after that sounded pretty much like that, but just like he figured out what it was, you know? But he's always been super cool. Everybody I meet that know him uh, always, I always try to get him to. I've been, he'll hit me back in the DM, but he don't like, you know, I guess, you know. He don't be doing interviews. He do it with Country Wayne, which we got Mike <laughs> Bless. It's certain what people he doing it with. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to get him. He ain't going to be gone long. Not, he'll be on hold. Get him. <laughs> but he definitely one that I, I really, uh, I know he's a culture and I know he's a real deal and he's spiritual. So right. I, I like the connection. I know how that sauce go, you definitely. know, with him. So I just, that's why I asked you, like, how was it meeting Zay Tobin when you went over there? He had to be a laid back dude at that time. Super Hell, he cool. was playing in the church then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, even when times got super uh, tense, you know, while we were working on Chicken Talk, there were some times that got tense with other people, not with him. And he was just like very cool and diffused it, you know, like that's very, what very God, chill. That's you know? what God will do, see? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he wasn't getting all up in the rah rah. He's like, all right, y'all can go. Yeah, that's everybody, right. y'all can all go, you know? He loved the music. Yeah, right. That's all he's there for. Had to be the man back when I start trapping. I never gave a fuck what they see. Man, and you the same way. I yeah, can just absolutely. imagine. Yeah. And that's the good part of having people that are balanced out the situation. It's lives are being saved in the midst of that. You don't even realize it's just how people be like, uh, they'll say, certain young people come on our show, they be like, you got to tell them something. Like, you don't never say this. You got to, in the comments, I see them say this, but just to be in the presence. To, to be in the presence of one that's been married for 20 years, don't drink, don't smoke, says a lot, and could be helping to save people from going in a situation just because of the presence. Oh, yeah. Back. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. No, the absolutely. presence is so important, and I think people, it's, it happens so seamlessly that you don't even realize it's happening. Yeah. 
Am I right? No, one thousand <laughs> percent. No, you are. You are, man. You know, I've diffused many situations. Exactly. You know? Just like, by the presence. Just by the presence and, and the presence of mind as well. That's it. You know, my dad used to always tell me if you feel like some shit's gonna go down, get the fuck out of there. What? Your dad but right. <laughs> you know, so I feel like that. Anytime I feel like, hmm, I just go. You know what I'm saying? I just go, I move on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or I just, Next you know. day you hear about it, man, two cars hit this and two guns went off with a bum. I was at the house. <laughs> right. I felt like something was about to happen. So I got back 30 minutes before all that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.